Spy Group, file number Toy Bishop 3000-Funnel Cake 40, Part 2. Having been distracted by an old flame, Agent Number 1 finds himself <laughs> head over heels. Fortunately, he saves his own life using his stylish keychain slash bottle opener. Emergency tow line feature extra. Uh, there again. <laughs> Where are my manners? Boys, this is my genius daughter. Sierra Nevada. I raised the child from birth to be a showgirl, but she up and ran off to MIT. And now I return the prodigal daughter. <laughs> prodigal daughter. Elvis 4, Liberace 7, Crush. I'm sorry we didn't work out. You're sorry. I'm sorry, Sierra. Someday, maybe we'll meet again. Uh. You and the real me. Contact agent number two. I'm sorry. The Espionage International customer you are trying to reach could not be contacted due to frequency jamming from an unknown source. Please try your call again later. Sierra. Mm-hmm. Frequency jamming. I should have known. Mm. <laughs> uh, cracker? No, thank you. Cracker, sir? No. How about the cracker? Maybe later. Probably want the cracker? No. But you're so cheesy, sir. Surely you want the cracker for your cheese. Oh. Oh. Uh, yes, thank you. I'd love a cracker. <laughs> crackers? I love crackers. When I was young, I used to eat crackers with my dear old grandpapa. We called him Poppy. How nice for you. Uh, do you think she would like uh, some uh, cheese? Uh, sure. Yeah. Tasha. Why don't you go see if you can find us some cheese? Cheese? I love cheese. When I was young, mm. I used she was one hell of a girl. One hell of a distraction. What have you been doing all this time? Uh, well, I, uh... What's the matter with you? Uh, listen, uh, something has happened. I don't know how to... Talk? Uh, I'm a little... I've never felt this way before. Uh, yeah, I may be uh, falling in love. Maybe. Wait, what's her name? Uh, what is her name? Pasha, Glasha, Nasha, Basha... Tasha. Yes, Tasha. I'll never forget it again. I'll forget it right now because we have work to do. Pushkin's planning to derail this train. How do you know? The emergency brake system is sabotaged. And I found a getaway pod in the caboose. Which means Pushkin's going to use the reverse propulsion device to derail the train. Train, kill every bachelor on board and escape in his getaway pod. Finally landing on Blather Magazine's cheesy top ten list. Nice work. Thank you. And now for the topper. There's more. It's about what's her name. Watch it. Remember Sierra Nevada? She's nothing like Sierra. That's not what I'm saying. I have reason to believe that Tasha is a... She's... You were saying? I have reason to believe that she's an... You know what? I don't care. What? Here. Take my watchy-talkie, my high-definition x-ray surveillance shades, this thing, and, uh, you know, all of it. Number two. I'm sorry. I can't complete this mission. And that means? I quit. Actually, I need the pen. It's just, uh... This is it? It's a pen. This is it? Yes. Bye. But she's Bye. a... Bye. Robot. Gentlemen, I have big announcement. Prince William has just asked for Dasha her hand in marriage. And Dasha said da. What? what? She said yes. Raise your glasses to Dasha, the future Queen of England. Yes! yes. Well, that's uh, fabulous. Uh, I'm getting married as well. <laughs> hey! I'm getting married too. Oh my God! I'm getting married. I'm getting married. My friends, tomorrow morning, we all get married. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Here's to all of you. And your beautiful, blushing robots. Total frequency jamming, possibly due to presence of outlaw robotic engineering genius Sierra Nevada. Stop. Agent number two, quitting due to romantic involvement with possible animatronic robot. Stop. All bachelors engaged to stag party hostesses slash possible animatronics. Stop. Red Fox in extreme danger. Full stop. P.S. Not referring to the late Red Fox, former star of Sanford and Son. Last stop. Ah... At least there's one thing on this train I know is the real thing. Agent number one uses his Coca-Cola message in a bottle rocket to send an emergency memo to Helena Troy. Hmm. Sierra, Sierra, Sierra. Number one, 
Number one, number one. Train crasher. Party crasher. I see you're still playing the same old game. I'm still waiting for one of us to win. What are we playing for? Guess. Oh, that's right. You like guessing games. Oh, you remember. I've got one for you. How about I make a guess? If I'm right, you tell me something I don't know. If you're wrong, you win. Start guessing. The hosts on this train are audio animatronic robots. My best design yet. Your turn. What's their secret weapon? Sexually arousing custom designed pheromones created by a fast acting genetic replicator located in their fingertips. Oh, genius. <laughs> Guess again. They spray the pheromones on the unsuspecting victim. I Take... prefer non voluntary subject to victim. Okay, taking care of the problem of reproducing the sensual power of the human kiss. My robo bridal brigade can fake everything from the fake friend air smack to the full French tongue lock. And nobody notices their kiss a robot when they're high on pheromones. Exactly. The pheromones make it seem real. Real enough to trap ten of the world's most eligible bachelors. Including one very attractive but highly annoying spy. Agent number two. Good guess. My turn. <laughs> Do I get bonus points for visual aids? I should have seen this coming. Sit back. Relax. Tonight's broadcast will be presented without interruption. Tasha. Don't do it, will you? He'll do it. Marry me. He did it. No. You did it. Spy Groove. File number Toy Bishop 3000 Funnel Cake 40, Part 3. On board the bridal train, Agent Number 1 and Sierra Nevada watch as Agent Number 2 proposes marriage to Tasha, the pheromone spewing audio animatronic robot. I don't know what to say. It's all so sudden. Let's get it over with. Shh. You'll miss the best part. If only I weren't chained to this chair. But you are, Agent Number One, you are. Affirmative answer, go. Yes! Eyelashes, go. I will marry you. No, oh, why not? Full French with darting tongue, go. This is diabolical. Looks like they're having a wonderful time, 